Hi everyone, welcome to Canoe the North. Today we're going to be making our favorite dehydrated backcountry meal. So this is a really easy dehydrated meal that you can make for yourself. It's cheap, it's nutritious, and most importantly, it's tasty. So the ingredients you're gonna need for this are two jars of your favorite tomato-based pasta sauce, one can of tomatoes, uh, one bag of pasta. I like to have small noodles so that they cook more quickly. One cup of dry red lentils. And then these other things are optional. When it comes to dehydrating, you really want to be using little to no fat. So if you're worried about that at all, you don't have to use these, but I like to just for a bit more flavor, a bit more texture. So just one tablespoon of olive oil, really as little oil as possible. Um, I use half a chopped onion, some chopped zucchini, some mushrooms if I have them. Uh, crushed garlic and then a lot of, little bit of Italian seasoning. measure out the lentils and I'm going to use about a cup but again more or less depending on what you like. So now it's important to thoroughly rinse these in cold water. While you are making the sauce you can um, cook these so I just I just about cover them with water and I kind of bring them to a boil and then turn the heat down a bit and I just let them cook for a bit. I don't want them to get too, too soft because I'm gonna put them in the sauce and let them finish cooking there. Uh, but I just want them to soak up a bit of that water. Just a little bit of olive oil to the pan. About a tablespoon. Mixed Italian herbs. So now I'll throw in the zucchini. And if I have mushrooms, I'll put them in too. We'll add the can of tomatoes. And then because the tomatoes are whole, if you do use whole tomatoes, you just need to break them up. And then just leave that to simmer. Now that started bubbling away, I'm going to go in with two jars of sauce. So I drained my lentils. Um, like I said, I haven't fully cooked them. Uh, now I'm going to add them to the sauce, so I'll let them cook some more in there, let them soak up a bit of the liquid, and I'll leave this um, to simmer. I like it to reduce as much as possible, just getting rid of that liquid, maybe 20 minutes to half an hour, maybe a bit longer. I really just kind of eyeball it. sauce is looking good. It's looking nice and thick. It's reduced a bit. So that was after about 25-30 minutes. So 
I have cooked the sauce and I cooked the pasta as well. So now I'm just gonna add the pasta to the sauce. Um, and I will just say that I didn't fully cook it. I left it fairly firm. Uh, Cause remember, we're gonna be adding water when we rehydrate it. So I don't want it to get too soft. And, and like I said, add what you think is right. Like, you know, figure out what ratio of pasta to sauce you like. So now I'm gonna just leave that to cool for a bit before I start dehydrating. So now I've got everything cooked, I'm just going to prepare the dehydrated trays. So this is what our trays look like. They're quite big. Um, and they have this kind of mesh insert, so it's got holes in it. So I add a sheet of parchment paper. So I really just kind of eyeball this. Um, I want to try and have enough for two people, so a dinner for myself and for Keenan. I'm bearing in mind that we usually have burnt a lot of calories during the day, so we want it to be a good hearty meal. You also don't want to overload the tray. You, you want to um, do a fairly thin, even layer to help it all properly dehydrate and dehydrate as evenly as possible. actually worked out really well. I've got three trays of the meals, so two meals um, per tray, so we've got three nights worth of dinners. Perfect. So now all that's left to do is to put them in the dehydrator. I've got it set to about 135 Fahrenheit and I'm going to put it on for, I think it's going to be about 16 hours maybe, but we'll, we'll check it and see how it goes. So I've finished dehydrating, it's about 16 hours later. I've taken it out of the dehydrator, let it cool down completely. Each one of these is two meals. And what I'm gonna do now is just put it in Ziploc bags. You can uh, vacuum seal uh, to see if that lasts longer. Personally, we find it works really well just to put it in the Ziploc bags. Our meals last more than a year. dinner to the pan and I try to just break it up a bit so it cooks more easily. And then you're just going to add some water. Um, I don't measure it, really I just kind of cover it, like just cover it with water. And then you can always add a little bit more as you're cooking. So now we've got it cooking on the stove. We're going to bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat. 
and just let it cook until it's fully rehydrated. cover it and leave it for a couple more minutes just to soak up a little bit more of the moisture and then it'll be ready. Okay, now it's ready. It's time to dish it up. Okay, here we okay. go. I must say, um, this backcountry campsite is absolutely <laughs> immaculate. <laughs> Brush cut lawn, Lou. Get out of here. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Enjoy. Lou, feed it. Lay down. Okay, thanks for, uh, thanks for lunch. You're for welcome. Dinner. As I remember. Yeah. You honestly would never know that this was a dehydrated meal. Mm -hmm. You would think that this just was made fresh. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's nice with like the pieces of vegetable in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for watching, let me know what you think in the comments, let me know if you try it out, I'd love to hear from you. Um, so if you if you like this type of thing, if you like camping, canoeing, backcountry stuff, fishing, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when our videos are out, we've got lots to come this summer. Yeah, canoe the north baby. <laughs> I'm